Good morning, friends. I'm so excited to share with you the story that we are going to be creating a bunch of cool characters to called The Growing Rock. We're going to start warming up our bodies by learning a little bit about the characters that are in The Growing Rock. The first character introduced in the story is the Inchworm, <laughs> also known as the Measuring Worm. Now, if you've ever seen an inchworm before, an inchworm does this kind of movement. It straightens out and picks itself up. Did you know that we can also do the inchworm with our bodies? You want to try? Let's try. To do the inchworm, you bend all the way down and try to touch your toes. Then you go out as far as you can. We call this the plank pose. And then you bring walk your feet the straight legs all the way back up to your hands and then do it again. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I wonder if we can do it backwards. Do, walk your feet up. Whoa. And then this time walk your hands. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ha, ha. Do, 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 do. And that's the inchworm. In our story, the inchworm is very old, but he is very wise and he's a very important part of our story. The second character that we have is the crow. <coughs> now the crow is actually very young. He's only six months old, but he's very grumpy because the crow lives in a jug all by himself. He's scrunched up in a jug and he's also a very jealous crow. And he actually does something that causes a lot of trouble in this story. Since he lives in a jug, we're not going to get our wings out super far. Ugh. But what he does is he says, Caw! Caw! Make that rock grow up! Can you say that with me? Get your crow, crow wings out and a very grumpy face and a grumpy voice. Ready? Caw! Caw! Make that rock grow up! The next character that we're going to learn about is Mama Blue Feather. <whistles> Mama Blue Feather is very proud of her new baby blue feathers, and she loves them so much. She has long, big, beautiful wings, and she's trying to teach her babies how to fly. She says, try my pretty babies, try to fly up to the sky. Can you try flying like Mama Blue Feather with me? Come on, let's do it. Try my pretty babies. Try to fly up to the sky. And she also says, fancy feathers, beautiful babies. Go to sleep on the sunning rock. And she flaps her big beautiful wings and flies. Nice job. Now with a mama blue feather, you know that there's baby blue feathers. Now those baby blue feathers are very, very small and they don't know how to fly yet. So they have very tiny wings. You need to help me out because they flip, they flap, and they flup. And every time they try their hardest to fly, they flip. They flap. And they flup. But they are too young to fly. Now in the story, the baby blue feathers get very, very scared. And they cry out in a really big voice that only babies can do. Mama! 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 Our next character is the rabbit. Rabbit is one of Mama Blue Feather's friends, and the rabbit, you guessed it, hops, and he sings this song. And we hop, 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 and as he's hopping, he sings, I will hop to the top, see this rabbit hopping, I won't stop till the top, see this rabbit hopping. Boing, 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 and he hops, 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 and he hops. Very nice. Our next character is the mountain lion. 
The mountain lion is also Mama Bluefeather's friend. And the mountain lion is very strong and has sharp claws for climbing. The movement for the mountain lion is climbing with his claws, really stretching up nice and high. As he's climbing, he sings, I am a mountain lion strong. It won't take me very long. Up, up, I will climb to bring those babies back. And he climbs and he climbs and he climbs, but the mountain lion also falls. And in order to fall right, you gotta practice. His back leg slips, whoa, and he falls back, whoa. The next character is the buzzard. The buzzard is also the friend of Mama Bluefeather. Now buzzards tend to fly in big circles. They're looking for food on the ground. And when they fly around in big circles, they're able to see more. Now the buzzard flies not with big flappy wings like Mama Bluefeather. The buzzard has nice, strong, straight wings and flies more like an airplane. But we're gonna go around in a big circle and the buzzard sings, I am a buzzard flying high. I am a buzzard flying low. Up, up, I will fly to bring those babies back. Yeah. And we go in a big circle, searching and searching. Let's see if we can circle the other way. Circle, circle, circle. And those are the characters of the growing rock. I hope you enjoy the story as much as I do. And when you hear the story, you can also practice your movements if you want. Have a great day, friends. I miss you. Mwah.